<laughs> Welcome at this special time, and we're going to be talking about the Advent wreath, the significance of it. What does it mean? Why four candles? Yesterday, I was in church, and I was truly educated around this fantastic thing, and that is the lighting of a candle. So I'm here with Pastor Ben, and we're going to educate everyone about the significance of this. Ben, welcome. Uh, let me light this candle. Candle one. Yes, candle one is all about hope. It's about the the hope that Christmas brings, the the anticipation for, a, for the birth of Christ. Fantastic. As all of you know, I've had a tough time, whether it's the last two years with my daughter, this year with the business, and I've needed hope. And I have found peace in attending a church and praying and meditating. Candle one for me about the importance of hope in everyone's life at such a difficult time is so important. Ben, when is candle one normally lit? Candle one is all about hope. It is a hope that we are promised in the Old Testament. It talks about Jesus Christ being the hope and the life and the Messiah for so many. It's a wonderful symbol. And as Paul just said there, it symbolises hope in the darkness and a hope that can sustain us. And when do we light it? We light it on the first week of December, the first Sunday of December. So candle one is lit on the first Sunday of December. There you go. How about that? <laughs> Unscripted performing. We love it. Candle two is the peace candle. Symbolises peace. It symbolises a peace that Mary and Joseph would have had as they made that journey to Bethlehem for eventually for, for Christ to be born. It is a peace that sustains, keeps and looks after us. And the message of peace is more present than ever in our world today. I think we all pray and hope for more peace in this world. Candle number three. It's a bit like a celebrity show. <laughs> What's behind number three? So candle three is the, tell me more. Joy. Joy candle. This candle represents joy. It sometimes is called the shepherd's candle and it is a, a joy that the shepherds felt the moment they heard the good news that Christ had been born. It's a lovely, lovely image because it shows that the shepherds were the first to hear the good news. The low, the poor were the first people to hear the joy that Christ had been born. Fantastic. Number four, love. And I think for me, these four candles, joy, hope, peace, love, is fantastic. Ben, tell me more, please. This message of love is one that we need more than ever in our world today. But true love, uh, love from Christ, a uh, sustaining love, often called the angel candle, as they, they were the messengers of the good news. They were messengers of love, and they were ever present in the nativity, even before Jesus himself. And actually, that message of love that is spread is, is one that we really need to hear in our world today. But the love of Christ. Fantastic. And there is a special candle which goes in the middle. And we're not going to light this one today because it's not the right time to light this one. But Ben, I'm going to pass this candle and you tell us where does it go? When does it get lit? And yeah, educate us, please. Fantastic. So what happens with this wonderful candle is that the... Christmas Eve is when we light our final four, which is love. But on Christmas Day, we light this, which we call the Christ candle, which is to symbolize Christ himself being born. It's a long, thin, white candle, and it sits in the middle as it represents Christ himself. Fantastic. Ben, is there a special Christmas message you'd like to give the world right now? Or even say a prayer. Yeah, no, Up I, to you. I think the reason that the Advent Reef is so impressive for me is that it speaks directly into the Christmas message. Christ wasn't born in a big fancy way. He wasn't born in glitz and glam. It was simple. He was born in a manger. The King of Heaven was born in the low of low places. Yet when we see something as elegant as a candle being lit, we are forced to concentrate on it. We are forced to look at it. So my prayer and my message would be, as you see candles this Christmas, let them remind you of the meaning of Christmas, the hope that Christ gives us, the peace that he gives us and sustains us with, the joy that he brings to our life. 
and the love that he had for us and was determined to show us. I have no words. Have a wonderful Christmas and a prosperous new year. <laughs>